Hello and welcome to this first episode of Catland Crops Update. In this format, I will bring you all the latest news and updates all around the upcoming farming simulation game Cattle and Crops. As you can hear, obviously English is not my native language, so please bear with me and let's start with some news. In the last week, the official Cattle and Crops website launched and brought us some new pictures. So let me make one thing as a general note for all pictures you can see on the website and in these videos and teaser trailers, etc. There is no picture manipulation in place. So all the pictures you see on the website or in these videos are 100% in-game graphics. They are not manipulated with uh, whatever effects you may uh, usually use for these pictures. Catlin Crops always wants to be uh, very true to their customers and fans. So please keep this in mind. Normally you are used to polish pictures with special effects, etc, etc. All the pictures you can see from Catlin Crops are 100% real in-game graphics and of course it's pre-alpha so please keep in mind that all the images show an early state of the game an early alpha state of the game and may be subject to change so not always give the very best result in reproducing what you see when you really are in the game so let's start with the meat of the show the analysis of all the material that uh, was shown lately on the web page and that I already explained in German in the first pilot episode of uh, Cattle and Crops update here in my channel. First of all, as you can see here, we have pictures with a very beautiful skyline. The sun is, uh, I think it's rising, I'm not sure. And this is a very impressive picture taken in game, as I already stated. And you can see the very complex daylight cycle as well as, if you look in this picture, the weather system. And now you might ask, whether is the water on the ground staying? Does it have an effect? And yes, I can confirm the weather will have effect on your outcomes. So, as you can see, cattle and crops will be a very complex simulation. However, cattle and crops will also make sure that all the functions, all the details, all the things you need to know about farming will be will be talked to you, will be presented in a way that a gamer still has fun with a very complex simulation game. More on these things, of course, will follow in uh, subsequent updates here in cattle and crops update. I also talked uh, in the first update about the trees. Um, it's very interesting to see that all the trees in this image seem to be different. So, you know, maybe other farming simulation games that have like three or four trees of every kind. So let's say 20 trees uh, altogether. And after a while, you see that all the trees are copied and pasted. In these scenes, you can see there are so many different details for each and every tree. This gives you a first impression how complex the landscape will be within the game. We will see later on that there are all other details that give you more eye candy. And I hope you stay tuned to find out what's more to come. In the Cattle and Crops update 1, I also had a closer look at this picture. As we can see, there's a farming machine. Obviously, it's a tractor with, uh, 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 during the night with an interesting light effect. So lots of uh, fans of cattle crops already asked, will there be a complex and f f functioning lightning system within the game? And as you can see here, yes, there will be. So the street is reflecting the light. And if you have a closer look at, at the textures, you can see very small and uh, detailed elements within this uh, within this uh, screenshot. And if you still keep in mind, this is already in the game, as you can see here. Um, and the game is still early alpha. You get the idea where uh, Cattle and Crops wants to position the game within the market. Very small and different kinds of textures. Uh, obviously it's dark so it's hard to see but it gives you a very cool impression about the mood you will have during working at night. 
Another new picture was uh, this one. This was also presented within the last week. And this is another confirmation of two things, I should say. Uh, one thing, the trees. You can see again how many different trees there are already in the game. And um, the second thing is you can see the landscape. The landscape is not flat. There are some hills and it's interesting eye candy and uh, not, let's say, uh, the boring flat type you often see in uh, simple simulation games. So, uh, if you sum up, you can see lots of details already in the screenshots that are taken in-game. And here, this was one of the latest. Uh, it was first presented in my new update video to Catalan Crops here in this channel. And as you can see here, there are crop crops in the background and in, in the foreground you can see very detailed grass and tree texture with different kinds of trees. Now let's have a look at what else you should know about cattle and crops. So there's a feature list on the webpage. It says simulation, detailed machinery and realistic har harvesting techniques. So this first point already tells us yes, of course. There will be machi farming machines in uh, the game and then they will be very realistic. So there are some games out there that you can, where you can compare the, the machinery to sort of uh, toys, play toys for children. And there are some games that are very detailed and Cattle and Crops wants to go the detailed way. So there will be machines with lots of lots of small detailed element and the second point, management. Your employees will help you take care of the farm, your animals and your estate. This is uh, also a new information, uh, sort of new information. It's also confirmed that employees will be within the game, so uh, refer to helpers in other games. These employees, however, will help you also with your animals and your estate. There will be more details about this point, but um, for now I can say management will be a very important point in the game. And of course your employees will not only be bots, they will, there will be more to employees, let's just say that. Vegetation is another point, plant growth and health, depending on multiple ground conditions. So a lot of, uh, f let's say, farming simulator players use, already use mods like the soil mod or mods that improve the uh, simulation depth of the game. And with this, uh, we already know that there will be ground conditions based on whatever influences uh, we do not or the, the influences uh, on the ground are not yet unveiled. And of course the weather also has influences. As you can see here, advanced weather system influencing your farming strategies. Enough said to this point, I think. Complex weather system we can also see in the picture with the rain. And when you can see the rain is still in the field and stays there and maybe this also has some influence. And then one of the most important points, brands. There have been pictures where the Kettle, of, uh, Kettle and Crops logo um, was, was used to present some brands that may be in the game. So this is a picture made, made by a German fan site called Burning Gamers and they guessed I, I, I have to say they guessed that these brands, these uh, brands will be within the game. I have to say, please keep in mind, this is only a speculation. So when brands are confirmed, you will see it in these videos here in this channel or on the official website. Or listen carefully, if you clearly see them, if you clearly see them in uh, trailers or videos, the brands are revealed. And of course, uh, one little detail here for the brands, it's a sort of small news bit. All machines, as stated in the German trailer, all machines will have brands, original brands. So there will be no no-name machines or fun uh, or fantasy brands. All machines will have licensed content, uh, licensed license, um, uh, brands for, uh, for them. 
And uh, the next point is multiplayer. Of course, no big farming simulation will uh, have a success in the market if there's no multiplayer. However, this uh, multiplayer does not define what the final multiplayer will be in the game. So it just says, join your friends in conquering the maps. Maps, as referred to, there will be maybe one map or two maps or these may be mod maps we uh, do not know yet, but there will be a multiplayer and so you can look forward to play this game with your friends together. Modding support. Yeah, this is one of the most important things for Cadillac Crops and for simulation games in general. So if a simulation game w uh, wants to be successful, it definitely needs modding support. For the Cattle and Crops team, it's very important to make sure that modders will have multiple tools to create great mods. By tools, I do not mean editors or sorts like uh, that, but ways to bring in complex machinery and uh, complex um, possibilities of scripting, etc. So, modding is a very important point in developing cattle and crops and it's uh, in, in the hearts of the developers to make sure that you as modders have lots of lots of good ways to bring in your great looking machines and vehicles and uh, maybe buildings in the game. This leads to the last point. As you can read from the points and what I, I now presented you as informations for this game, this game is made with passion. All uh, members of the Kellen Crops team are gamers at heart. Uh, most of them, I think, are simulator, simulation game fans. And Kellen and Crops also, and this is uh, one point that I made very clear to in my first uh, German Cattle and Crops update uh, video. One of the central things for the uh, Cattle and Crops team is to have an ear or an eye maybe for the community, to listen what you guys out there um, suggest, what you want, what you see, the feedback you give. However, of course, it's not, it's not possible to please all and every and any feedback out there, but you get the idea what people want, so a more complex simulation game, a more detailed com uh, simulation game with um, up-to-date graphic and yeah, that's uh, the way Cattle and Crops will go within the next month. There will be more updates to the to the game here in this channel with Cattle and Crops updates. There will be, the next thing will be a trailer analysis of the latest trailer and in case you um, have, uh, haven't already seen the latest trailer, I want to present the latest trailer of Cattle and Crops again as sort of the summary of all the new things and please uh, make sure you give me your feedback on this video, on the information in this video and of course uh, on the trailer. In, in this trailer I summarized all the elements I talked about and we have some great great news came out within the last weekend. I hope you did understand what I wanted to tell you. My, my English is maybe not the best in speaking. I, I have no <laughs> I have no problems listening and understanding and writing but uh, speaking is a bit uh, difficult for me so please I hope I could provide you with some new details and new informations and get you ex excited for what's up there within the next weeks and months. So here Without further ado, the latest trailer for Cattle and Crops. And please make sure to leave your comments, to subscribe. And thanks for listening and watching and give us some feedback. Bye bye.